about our current fan or tribe capturing system that is in place as of February 2016. And um, we're going to start from the top and just kind of go through the, the path, you know, the, the path that people go through virtually and, and record that in real time here on the screen share. The whole idea we're trying, to, what we're trying to do with this capturing system, is to build, you know, on the thousand fan idea. Okay, a thousand true fans. We can't do that by phone. You know, we can't. I can't keep a thousand fans happy in real time communication. Okay, so we're going to use these tools and of follow up and try to make the live show live event so amazing and such an incredible experiences experience that it literally changes people people's lives okay we get we use this system to follow up and get people get their butts in the seats get their, get them in the door and when we get them in the door then hopefully if we got our self together artistically we're going to give them an experience where they feel like their life has changed and they're going to come back because they're going to have that emotional uh release it's happening in their brain you know and, and it will make them remember that show it happened last night at Humpty Happy Hour I was talking to several fans oh we haven't been and you know we went to that show it was like literally 10 years ago and they were you could see their faces smile you could see that it was such a uh, an immense memory for them okay and all of us have that with the arts or something you know in our lives right where it doesn't matter how you if you tell people stuff over and over again but if you if, if you can tell people about something, you can you can write about it, you know. But but if they have that own experience and they have an emotional reaction, they will never forget that. Okay. So the idea is to get them get them in the door. You may have a really immense emotional reaction, so they'll be talking about it. And hopefully, I mean that's really all we can do. Then you know, and then have the system also follow up to get them to come back. You know, we want to get people to come to anywhere from five to ten shows minimum. We want those thousand fans to come to five ten shows minimum a year. That's what we're we're going for we should kind of recognize what is that and if we can get more than a thousand fans with this system great you know that are doing that but right now as of 2016 um i don't really have any sense of that i mean if we run the numbers we might come out to be that we don't know i might be making fifteen thousand dollars a year we kind of did an estimate of of a thousand fans going to 10 shows a year at fifteen dollars a show that's 150 times a thousand fifteen thousand that's where i came with that number so who knows? I might be making more than that, you know. But anyway, we don't really know. But anyway, so here's the path, the signal path, the fan path. They come in several places where, you know, it could be Facebook, uh, anywhere, Google, and they're going to come into an RSVP form. RSVP is a, a low friction, like in marketing they talk about friction, right? So the idea of using the RSVP form instead of asking people to, to buy something is to lower the friction. You want to get people to make a commitment, a mini commitment is what I call it, with the RSV. They're not having to pay anything. They're just saying, I'm going to come to the show. So when they make that mini commitment, I actually give them on the forum three free songs. So I, you know, they're just for them giving us their email address and their phone number, they immediately get three free songs, okay, in the email box um, with their RSVP confirmation with the information about the show. Make sense? So... And you can interrupt. Ross is here, one of my interns. He can interrupt me anytime. Um, so it's always an exchange anywhere along the process, okay? So instead of saying, buy a ticket, I'm just saying, hey, make a commitment to come to the show. Get this free, get these free songs. And, that, and people hear what the music's going to be like. Boom, okay? So they're committed. We have their email. We have their phone number. So we can literally immediately start following it by email. And we also have their phone number if we want to at some point sell them a season ticket or call them, follow up a text, you know, we haven't seen you in a while. Um, I've even thought we can run reports in SendPepper, which is the database system we use, you're going to see this, where I can see people that haven't been coming to shows. You know, we can make a, we can make a list uh, of those people and say they haven't come to a show in a year, you know, then maybe I or a volunteer can call them up and say, hey, we haven't seen you in a while and we really miss you and, or whatever, you know. They're not getting the emails because they're going to spam. And some of those people will appreciate getting a phone call. And we can figure out how to get them back on the email list. Okay, so those two, phone number, email, give us a lot of, uh, give two ways to right, follow up with them immediately. Whereas the traditional ba old band music model is like buy a ticket, 
So it's a lot of friction and people are having to part with their money. And, and then we have to ask them again when they come to the show, Hey, will you sign up on the email list? Okay. And you're not going to get as many signups because people are, are there to hear the show. They're here to experience the show. They don't want to mess with right. They're, you're only going to get anywhere from 10 to 50% maybe of people to sign up on an email list. And then you have to interrupt your band, your music to ask for that. Okay. If you notice, if you go to like a Stevie Wonder show at a, or somebody who's a high profile artist, they're not asking for emails, the shows. That's what I want to do. I want to, again, I, I, I want to get the, the information up front. So when they come to the show, it's just the show. So, we know, as of this recording, we've added doing, uh, doing a live recording. So what have I mentioned? I mean, at the show, I didn't say anything about the email list. I didn't say sign up on our email list. I did say you can get a recording of the show tonight. Now, I kind of, that's, I'm feeling like I don't even want to have to say that, you know, because I want to keep it on the music and keep the experience flowing, let the least amount of talking as possible. If we talk, it's about stories about the music, not about, hey, there's a recording, check it out. So we might want to explore ways, how can we get that message out to the audience that the recording's available, you know, and not interrupt the music, okay? So that's a key element of this system, is like, the music has to be just the music, the experience, because we only get that one chance to get that first fan to be like blown away, have their shit blown away by the music. And if you start saying something about, hey, we're doing a recording tonight, this is just my opinion, it takes it off the actual music experience, okay? But there are other ways that we can get them. To, what if we had a program when they walk in? Here's a program. Thanks for coming to our show. That's what I do at Strings on Grass. I have a program. We have the, the slideshow, okay? So we've got, it's, you know, it's being flashed on the slideshow. So people are seeing it there. The program could have a little section about the recording, you know? Um, the ushers could be saying, as before the music, and hey, by the way, we're doing a recording tonight, or whatever. You know, if you could just, so you could take it off the stage. You could have something on your business card, too. A business card, that's true. We could, we could, you know, get them up those other levels. So I want to change that. I don't want to have to talk about it, you know, on stage. Um, I might, at the end of the show, at the very end, mention it then. Or maybe, like, right before the show, when we start, you know, and see if there's any difference in like how many people buy it like obviously i mentioned it last night and we only had <laughs> three people want it so it's new but anyway yeah. you want to take as much off you don't want to talk about business when you're doing the show you know from the beginning to the end it's got to be show um i can't think of any major artist i've seen well i've seen maybe at the paramount theater in austin you know the, like i said at the end hey come see us at the merchandise table we'll be signing Mm -hmm. That's good. I think at the end, you know, after everybody's had the experience, hey, meet me over at the merchandise table. Or something quick like, like yeah. us on Facebook. Like us on, yeah, at the end of the right. show, okay? Right. Or if you had, you know, and again, if you make, it, it, when you ask somebody to make a move, an action, okay? This is back to marketing too. When you ask somebody, when you're asking somebody to take an action to either buy something or give you their email address, you want to give them some kind of incentive, okay? So to buy the recording, or you want to have something that's going to make them, go, what I call the rule of now, you want, you want to recognize the rule of now, which is you want to get them to do it now, okay? So how can we get them to buy that recording, to, at, you know, now? You can say it's only available tonight, <laughs> you know, tonight only. Do I don't know, that's an idea. Actually, that's a really good, yeah, right? we talk about that a lot. Yeah. That, that gets more people because if yeah. they only it's have it's only available tonight right. and put it in all the all the messaging. Um, what else? I mean, what else could we say? Uh, you know, if we have the CDs, you know, they're paying for it, so they're getting something. So you know, only tonight you can get it, which is really true. I don't know if I really want to do that because I'd love to make it available. Oh, I could. You could say oh, it's only available tonight, or if you're a patron, it's on the patron site. If you're a patron. You can get access to all these recordings, but nowhere else you're gonna you're gonna get it. That's really good. You know what I'm saying? Kind of exclusive. Yeah. yeah. So think about that. So we want to add that. And again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this system to a point where we can just let it run. You know, we get get it to a point where it runs, and we just start repeating it, because people might. One thing I've I have to mention on recording this. If you change things too much, people get confused. They don't know what's going on. You know, and so we want to get, maybe in the next three to four to six months, something where we can just start running it and people start getting into the, into the groove, you know, coming to the Hump Day Happy Hour every, every Wednesday. That's why it's great to have like a regular residency where you can start 
doing these things and people know what to do and oh they've heard oh, patron what's that they've heard that maybe 10 times i've been hearing you talk about patron what is that then they finally come up to you about after the 10th or 15th time at the merchandise table and have a personal interaction about that and you talk to them about that okay there's a book amanda palmer wrote called the art of asking okay and a big part of her system is the signing line after the show people getting to connect and she'll sometimes spend an hour hour and a half at the signing line at the merchandise table making all these personal connections so that's part of the magic of this system too is having the signing line that's why i've asked ross or whoever my current intern is at this time when you're watching this video to help me set away put away the gear so i can immediately go to the signing line that's part of our system go to the signing line talk about being a patron i'll be there if you want to, if you're interested in being a patron come see me let's let's connect you know so you know if we have a good 30 minutes or an hour whatever it takes get the artist to the signing tape signing line or the merchandise table and make sure they're 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 it's as important as doing the actual show or maybe more important amanda palmer talks about this that's where people get to like wow i get to talk to will you know that's a big part of the new system of music okay of being a artist the old system was protect the artist have them behind you know in the green room or whatever and, and only have this limited exposure to the artist on the stage for that moment and then boom they're done and maybe you might have a quick autograph signing thing you know something is it but but not this idea of having the artist out there for hours i don't know i could be wrong but i think there's it's the new systems are saying more access to the artist okay so anyway that should be part of our system so when they come to the top they do the rsvp form okay so let me just show you on here real quick so we go um RSVP, that's what we call like a mini commitment, you know, there's very little resistance. They come to this, they see this form, and, you know, we might look at ways of redesigning this to make it flow better, who knows, maybe there's better ways of doing it. I've got this C video. So if somebody came to this form out of, like, not coming to the website, and somehow they just landed on this, because, you know, some people might not see the fancy website, there's a little video for them to see the show, you know, what's the show about, right there. You know, we might make that a pop-up video, maybe it's not... Maybe it needs to, instead of going to another page, you know, that's an idea. So they fill this out, and here are the options. This is like the first point of of exchange, you know, okay? They're getting three free songs and RSVPing for a show. So they get three free songs for giving this information. So we've got send me a text alert. When they click this, it actually sets off another, you know, email that says, you know, okay, to get on your, our texting list, you have to go through these steps, okay? Because we use a service that's very careful with phone numbers. There's, there's a lot of laws out there. You know, you can, you can really you can be sued if you don't have your ducks in a row for texting people. You know, because the FCC has rules. It's more stringent than email. So when we click, when they somebody clicks this, and I'll, I'll show you. There's a another email that comes out and says, "Thanks for be, you know requesting to be in our mobile community. Here you have to do this and this and this and this. And and by the way, if you do this, we're going to give you another free song. So I still do the incentive." You know, again, my idea in doing this was to reward people along the way. Because a lot of people might see this and go, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, I have to do that. You know, they're going to get, to, they're going to give up. So, so I, 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 again, in that email that goes out, I say, and if you f go through all the steps, you're going to get access to another free song. Okay. So that they have to put in their name. They have to put all three of these things in. They don't have to do the text alert. That's just optional. Okay. So we got these three, but they have to put here because I put required in case location has to be moved due to weather. You know, so that gives a little you know, reason. So it's it's pretty pretty consistent, you know, that people will do this, okay? But you know, who knows? We may go back and look at our system, and we might need to A B some stuff. Like, well, what what would it be like if we took the the phone number out of there? You know, how many more assignments would we get? You know, right? There's all kinds of things we can do to try Makes to tweak sense, it. Yeah. yeah. What if we just made that optional? You know. That's an option. Right now, it's required. If I if I go, mm, you know, do that. Uh, at, uh, see, it says mandatory, so it's not going to let me do it. Okay, so people go on this one. So let me just back up a second. Right now, currently in Strings Attached, we have two series series going on. We have Strings on Grass and we have Hump Day Happy Hour. So I have a form for Hump Day and a form for form for Strings on Grass. That each one of them has their own set of emails, you know, that are tailored to each one. Okay, so for this is so we're doing the hump day um, path, customer path. Okay, so when they sign up here, they put their information in. Uh, let's just do it. Let's see. So first name, 
Okay, let me just make sure I am deleted from it. So I'm gonna put my email in as an example. So Sam Pepper is is our um, customer relations management software. So it's called CRM, right? You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we go here all. Uh, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna take myself out of it so we can go through the whole thing. I haven't had breakfast yet, I probably I might need to take a little break to go <laughs> grab something. Okay, so, and then we got email. We're gonna have email right here. Okay. Oh, this is really detailed. Okay, so will, will taylor.com, I'll put, I'll put my improv address. Okay, turn it. Okay, now it's gonna say, it's gonna go to a page, a confirmation page that says you. Voila, okay, you're all set for supposed, hump day, yeah? No, it's not supposed to do that. That's weird. It's supposed to go to check your email, you know, confirm and all that. Uh, what happened? Hold on a second. Let me pause the video. Change all that. Okay, so when you when a new customer comes in and they're not in our database, we we want them to double opt in. Okay, double opt in. Basically, we're trying to get their email or our email whitelisted with their email service. Okay. That's what we're trying to do. That's the goal of this, so that they actually receive our emails. We're trying to get that, like, up front immediately. If they want to come to the show, they're going to have to whitelist. You know, they have to go through these hoops, okay? And, uh, again, we're using a donation-based model, so they, all they have to do is RSVP, and they can, you know, pay what they can, okay? The suggested donation is anywhere from 15 to $20, and we find at most shows between, you know, 80 to 90% of people pay that, you know? Okay? So... So we're the, the first thing after they fill out the form is to try to get their our email whitelisted with their service, okay? And I have a couple things that do that. So the first thing is this 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 video shows you know what the email is that needs to be whitelisted and how to find it. So if I go over here, you're gonna see that um, and I'm having already having the problem. Like I've got it's not come in yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna look under promotions. This it should say like click here, you know. It hasn't come in yet. I've already got this. Wait, three, two. Oh, that's Jeffrey Fink. Okay, so he's signing up for that one. So I'm waiting, and I could go over here and look at my logs. Actually, I can see that that it's actually it's under here. I click this. This shows me that this is the email I just put in, right? So I'm acting as a new customer. Down here, it's showing you that. Okay, so I asked to be on the. The text list, so I got an email about that. This this hump day happy hour confirmation email, that's what I'm looking for. So it's either not come yet. I'm being real detailed here. Let's see. Did it come? Today's what? The 17th? 18th. See, it still hasn't come. But it's going to look at, um, we'll get it here in a second. Da, 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 da. This is good to test, test the system. It's a little bit delayed. So, so there's three emails that go out. One is to confirm their email, so it's double opt-in. Right now it just says email status, yes. That's going to change to double opt-in once I click on that, that email. Okay, and I'll just go over a couple things too. So that form automatically adds a couple of, uh, several things. It adds the, the date, right of the show right here see most recent date it's an important field it's also adding these sequences this hump day most recent show thanks new fan welcome it's adding strings attached fan it's actually adding this hump day happy hour so i can pull this person up and segment the list in many different ways i can pull up all the people that have gone to hump day happy hour based on that tag okay strings attached fan is a general tag for my email list okay so i can pull that up and, and, you know, there's just, it's like, this is like spreadsheets, you know, I can run all kinds of different. Now these sequences are, are, are just emails that go out, you know, based on being either a new customer. So for instance, or not. So this new fan thing is just one email that goes out the next day saying, you know, here's what we're about. Here's our story, you know, okay. Just one email. This, this, uh, and so here's here's one thing to mention about this new fan welcome. If somebody has already got that email and they and they've already and they're coming to the next Hump Day Happy Hour, they're not going to get that again. It only goes out once. 
Okay. So I've also set it up where that form takes away. You remember? Did you see that video? So if it's got some other yes. sequences in here, yes. it will it will remove those. So that anyway, I just added that because it was actually sending out t tons of email. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing this video is to see if there's any other thing we're not seeing that's sending too many emails accidentally. Makes more sense. So so it, it just when somebody signs up for Humpty Happy Hour, it like takes them down to just that. Okay. So this new fan welcome thing, anyway, only sends it out once. And this most recent show thanks that sends an email like the day of the show and, the, and an email the next day saying, how did you like it? You know, so there's a lot of emails there, but, um, in the videos, I tell people I've updated the videos saying, Hey, look, you're going to get a bunch of email. You can subscribe right now. Once you get the show information, you're welcome to just get off. Or if you have a problem, text me directly. So I've, I've been putting that in all the, the videos. Um, and it's maybe it needs some people don't watch the videos, so we might think maybe it needs to be up at top of the email too, like maybe that one email that says, um, "Here's the show information," you know, maybe put up there. You know, oh by the way, you're going to receive some more email, and if you want to get off now, here's fun, because again, it's important that people don't get irritated, too, you know, have a feeling of oh my god, I'm getting so much spam. So we might want to tweak that a little bit. I'm thinking. Although, and honestly, I've had people come up to me and they laugh about it. They're like, oh, you're sending a bunch of emails. Like, but it's cool. I've read about you. And it's cool reading about, you know, your past and all that. And getting these free songs. And So it could just be a very small percentage of people that are irritated. And maybe we don't want them anyway in the tribe. Who knows? I don't know. But if we give them the option, you know, to get off, then, and it's really clear how to get off, then, right. then that's important. Okay, so when somebody comes in, this is what the first information that we get. We've got the phone number, we've got zip code, that's put in automatically, but that looks like a wrong zip code. Round Rock, it's like uh, the internet, what do you call it, IP address is wow. put in there. Okay, so let's see if that email has come over here yet. Still hasn't come yet. <laughs> it usually comes like right away. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take a little pause here and Okay, we finally got the confirmation email. So the next step is that people get this hump day happy hour confirmation email. This is what whitelists our email with their service. So it comes in here and it very clearly states they're going to get the free download. You know, in other words, we're, we're, it's, it's the, what they call the ethical bribe. This, I forgot to mention this. Ethical bribe to get their email address is, is the getting the free download of music. So we mentioned this in the confirmation email. We're also saying here that before I need to confirm the owner of this email, you have, that I have permission to send you email. You will receive occasional emails. Okay, so this is the first indication that we're going to send more emails. Okay, and it says you can subscribe <laughs> subscribe at any time. So if if people are actually reading this, okay, it does say it there, but it's kind of down at the bottom. Uh, if so, just you know, most people are going to go, oh, click, and they're not going to even read all this. You know what I mean? You might want to try yeah. bolding unsubscribe or something Maybe like that. Maybe it's a good idea. Bolding unsubscribe. Okay, so thank you for letting us keep in touch. Now, this went to the wrong thank you. I don't know why it went to this. It's supposed to go to your confirmed. Okay, so we got to look at that form. Which 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 uh, show is this? Did I, Was it 24? Okay, and now I'm going to get an email that has the show information, which is going to come over here in promotions. Here we go. Thanks, Will. Free tracks. So it's, you know, this is a general email because we don't need to really have specific information about the show, by the way, okay? But it's supposed to go, so I don't know which one I, it's supposed to go to this confirmation page, not just thank you, okay? <laughs> All right, so we'll figure, we'll, I'll show you what it's supposed to be. Let me just, it was supposed to go to this one. After they confirm, it's supposed to go here. And they see another uh, video. So if they're, and what I'm curious about is, do these videos play on a smartphone? You know, when you're going through this process on a smartphone, okay? Because we may, may, you know, a lot of people may not be getting this video, and um, this, this, this is auto, set on autoplay. So just to kind of go backwards a little bit, uh, at this point, they've seen me twice. If they've seen the videos, they've seen me talk. They've got a sense of who I am as a person some kind of emotional connection, you know, rather than just reading text. They're saying, hey, welcome to the show, and this is what happens. This is how you find parking. This is, you know, what we're doing, okay? So these are two 
opportunities to make a personal connection where I don't have to be there. You know, it's automated. So that if people actually saw these videos, when they, for the first time when they come to a show, if they're a new fan, they have a sense of who I am as a person. Okay? Whereas emails don't really do that. I mean, they can if people read them, but, but you're actually seeing my eye contact, you know, my facial expressions. So, uh, you're all set for hump day happy hour downtown Austin, 607. So watch the video, and now I'm giving them the opportunity to get the live recording, okay? Now that they're in my, they've been whitelisted, now the e now we start sending them emails, you know, and start sending them a barrage of, like, buy more, what we call upselling. So the, uh, the upsell is, is, hey, you know, we're going to be recording this show. I even mentioned it in the video. We're really excited. we got a, you know, amazing engineer who's going to be doing it, you know. We're not just saying we're recording the show. We're saying we got an Austin legend, dairy engineer, you know, who's worked with amazing artists, and here's how you buy it. So that's our first upsell right there, okay? And we just ran this one time, and, and nobody did the upsell. So, but I'm I'm betting that with like the dark side of the moon, people are going to do the upsell. Okay, I'm betting that you're going to get. Now here's a cool thing. Now these two pages that I've sent people to, the first one they go to is this. Check your email, okay, for whitelisting. Mm -hmm. Now I have control of what code I put on this page on the HTML. Okay, so there's code I can put on this page, and there's code that I can put on this final page. Okay. And also, when they buy the this, okay, the live recording, there's another thank you page. Thanks for buying the recording, okay? I put code on that page so that we can track what we call conversions, okay? So we want to be able to track somebody from the beginning all the way to the end to becoming a, a buyer, okay? So we can actually, you know, work on our conversion rates for different ads on Facebook, you know, and we can tweak that so where, you know, if we're spending 10 bucks, we're making, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. If we spend 10 bucks on this ad, we, wow, people actually buy the recording, you know, we can actually tweak that with, with all that data on Facebook, but there has to be code on these pages. These are called uh, uh, landing confirmation pages, right? And that track actions that your customers take, and they put them into little uh, what we call um, segmented lists, okay? So I can actually go on Facebook and say, here's a list of people that only made it this far. You know, they didn't go make it to buying an album, okay? Here's a list of people that bought the album on Facebook. They will segment that for us, okay? It's really awesome. Okay, so now they're confirmed for the show. Um, so they're seeing information about the show here. They're also getting the email. I even say in the video, you know, make sure you watch that or get the email, you know, because it's got information about the parking. It's got information about, it's got another video about the live recording in here, parking options. People are always asking me about parking. Where do we park? So I put one idea, one on idea two, okay? You know, this is all about training people to get into the habit of how do you come to tellers. And hopefully, you know, if they're trained, they're going to tell their people, oh, yeah, parking, it's easy, you know. They're going to start evangelizing or doing that for you. You want your audience to be doing the talking for you. You know, that's what we're doing. We're trying to train people by going through this system and automating everything. Okay, so uh, that's basically the signal path from or the fan path from new customer to getting the information about the show and arriving at the show. That's at, at that point. This is day one. We sent you know probably three emails, four emails. Okay to get them whitelisted and to get them the information about the show. They've seen a couple videos and if they've gone all the way to buying an album, a live download, they've probably, they have the chance at seeing four videos, okay? So what are the four videos? The four videos are the confirmation email video, okay? The um, thank you, you're confirmed for the show video and thank you for buying an album video. So that's three, there's three videos that they have the opportunity of watching. Those are three points of contact in our little funnel, you know, where we might only get that. They might unsubscribe. So, you know, what are we going to do in that bandwidth, you know, to, like, get them on board toward that thousand fan, you know? <laughs> so one of the things I've thought about is I don't always... I, I always send people to a playlist. I never send them to one video. So if you notice on this confirmation page right here, if they just keep watching this and... You know, some people are gonna are gonna keep this on, 
or maybe I'm they really turn around and do something, and then this, this next video comes on. It's Will Taylor. Okay. With uh, so I've got Guys, some. One more thing. Uh, I've got some uh, information about the show. I've got a playlist of people talking about Will Taylor playing music. There's an artist. So you know, if only 10% of people go through, you know, they're going to see some more content to add value. We're trying to make Hump Day Happy Hour. We're trying to make Strings Attached. You know get the sense of it's an immense value, you know, that's what I'm working toward, by having the playlist in there instead of one video, so, anyway, we only, we only get those three videos, and people unsubscribe, then the next thing is they're at the show, okay, and hopefully we, once they get in the door, that we, like I said earlier, we create an emotional reaction, or we try to create an environment for an emotional reaction to happen, or emotional connection, not reaction, it's really connection, okay, and so I'm going to stop it there and leave it at that point, and we'll, and then, okay, I'll actually mention one more thing. Um, they will receive an email the next day, which is a part of this sequence, okay? If you look in the form here, it says, new fan, welcome concert, hump day, most recent show, thanks, okay? This welcome concert lead up is one email on day two. So they signed up on day one, day two, they're going to say, it's going to say, welcome to Strings Attached, here's some info about Will. You know, and strings attached. Here's the story of it. Okay, and and I'll actually be able to look in. The, I can tell who's who's opening that and reading that. Okay, so let's say, let me find one real quick here. I'll I'll show you from Hump Day. I can pull up Hump. I've already got a little segmented list here. See Hump Day? Do you feel like on Hump Day? I can go last activity sorted. So um, some this guy Dave. He's taking sh shots at the show, by the I way. I met him. You met him? Go. Cool. He, he went in here at 2 a.m. and did something. So we're going to look at this real quick. Um, down here at the log, um, here's a lot of these. And I actually apologized to him because he was getting, like, a barrage of emails because my system wasn't, you know, working correctly. <laughs> so I said, sorry, you know. But here we go. Are you ready? He was getting the strings on grass one, too. Uh-oh. Because that's a different sequence. So I, I adjusted the form so it's not going to do that anymore. But anyway, if you look for this email, um, hey, free song about, let's see, where is it? Drink of Will Taylor. See, it's, it's not sending that email because I, it already was sent to him a long time ago. Some info about Will. So I need to find somebody who's a new fan. Let me just see if I can find, oh, date added. So here we go. This looks good, like a new person. It was wonderful to see Will. I'm trying to find that email. Oh, wait. Okay, Melita, a little about Will, and more free songs. Okay, so I'm giving them more another incentive to open the email, because <laughs> this is a, you know they might be a little irritated, but oh, I get some free songs. Okay, cool. So I can tell that they did not open this because there's no plus sign. That plus means they opened it. Okay, <laughs> so they never opened this, and then um, so that's the, that goes out on day two. Okay, <clears throat> I could actually you you could pull up you can make a, a custom segmented list of people who open that email. This allows you to do that. And I, they, over here where it says other notes, they, uh, this is a little email they sent me. It's captured in there. Another customer comment, you know. I've been to Strange Brew, but, you know, I love seeing all the dancing and singing with Coralina. So, there's a little something I could grab and put in my customer comments list. That's what you meant by you scraping know. customer comments? Right, yeah. So I've got it built into the system. I've got a built-in follow-up where people have a chance to, to go give comments and then it's captured. So I don't have to do this. I can go in and I can pull up all my fans who have commented. And I can show you that I've got, I've been doing this for like two and a half years in this system. I've got, you know, probably, you know, 400 comments just from this auto system, okay, of following up. And that's, I'm going to pause and I'll go into that. That's another part of the... When I get back, that's another part of the, the. All right, that's part one. End of part one.